G'day. <laughs> well, um, welcome to my life, <laughs> or what has um, become of it since uh, my accident. Um, I think today is like the 23rd or 24th. Um, it's like tomorrow's Christmas. I think it might be 22nd. I don't know. But um, so it's been nearly a month um, since since my accident and uh, this is pretty much so what it's been um, laying in bed um, six days six days in hospital um, at the Wesley which was absolutely fantastic that was so good um, putting up with me <laughs> squealing um, uh, hating the fact that of course I had this um, leg in pain and uh, obviously my arm but anyway things have really really improved um i can hop around now uh been out a couple of times in my wheelchair which is good um although uh, i can't operate the wheelchair by myself um because i've only got the one good arm and the one good leg so i can do a bit of fred flintstone and um and pedal at the same time but as soon as there's a bump or a hill I, i'm buggered so it's weird i'm trapped in um in these walls and uh, yesterday I um, kind of lost it. It had been a week since I'd left left uh, my friend's apartment and um, he said, oh, do you want anything from the shop? And I said, yes, me to go with you. <laughs> and uh, so I grabbed my crutches, which I haven't haven't used. I've used them a couple of times but because of the my arm. I've got a special crutch that goes along, along this arm and then down. But even then, just, just holding it with his hand hurt so much because the bone's broken here in the hand also. So, um, anyway, I'm like, no, bugger it, I'm <laughs> get out of here. So, um, so we jumped in his car and then we started getting around the shop. And uh, I was going great guns, you know. <laughs> and I thought, ah, oh, look, bugger this, no one can keep me in a in a um, no-win situation. So I went to the thing, the, the cupboard, and I got some milk out and um got about five paces and thankfully my mate brought the trolley over to me because i was about to collapse and um and then after having a bit of a break i had to go and sit down in the dairy section so sorry anyone in the ID iga who had to deal with me sitting in the dairy <laughs> i just i was gonna go over otherwise um but yeah anyway so i did get to go out but i learned a lesson um can't really use my crutches, uh, so stuck here again, which really sucks because you know, like it's gonna be Christmas, and I'm always with people for Christmas, um, even if it's not my family. Um, like last year, I was at Aracoon, and it was just wonderful up there. Um, so, if anyone's watching from Aracoon, um, that was an amazing Christmas up in the uh, Cape York and the Aboriginal community there. Um, so always, always surrounded by a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of mates. Um, and I was hoping to get home to my family, but of course the five hour drive, I'm not going to be able to do it. Um, and then of course with the floods and stuff and, um, you know, once I'm out there again, I'm just stuck in the homestead. Um, so, you know, I can't get around with my crutches because of course, you know, when there's floods, the soil doesn't exactly take crutches very well. <laughs> I'd be running along like a peg leg. Um, and of course my wheelchair it wouldn't really work. Same reason. So I'm stuck here. And these four walls. Just great. It's driving me crazy. Kind of know what it's like to be in prison. Actually I've been in prison a few times. Hopefully mum's not watching this. <laughs> not in Australia, I've been in prison in, in like Lithuania, and, no, not Lithuania, Latvia and Mongolia and, and England. Um, but yeah, that was a different story altogether. It wasn't, wasn't for doing anything wrong. Um, well, not myself wrong. Paperwork issues. Um, anyway, as you can tell, I'm going crazy. Luckily though, my surgeon has given me um, some really good pain relief which is good but yeah I'm really just hanging out for when I can get, get on a plane and um, get back down to Sydney where it's cooler uh, yeah Queensland I love Queensland but 
you know, when you've got casts on and like my legs in this um, funny, funny cast, just the, the heat, like that, not the sweat is bad, you know, but the, the heat that builds up in your leg and your, it gets unbearable and um, like I sleep uh, maybe two, three hours a day. Last night I got four hours, which was, I was stoked, you know, <laughs> I was like, wow. Um, yeah, I've had one, since since this whole accident happened, I had one night sleep, um, and that was just phenomenal. I was at my mate's place with this blaring air conditioning, and uh, and that was my day that I went out on my, my wheelchair, and so I was absolutely physically exhausted, and I think that's really what did it, the physical exhaustion. And again, yeah, yesterday, I think maybe the physical exhaustion of going out on my crutches uh, led to me having actually a, a reasonable sleep. It's kind of funny that you talk about four hours as being reasonable sleep, but it was sleep and it was continuous and um, it was at night time, so, which none for the last week, I haven't slept a single minute at night time, it's all just been during the morning, um, after about six is when I can finally fall asleep, so just for a couple of hours as I say. But anyway, something really good that's happened um, in the land. If you uh, if you can get the land newspaper, um, there's a very happy man with lots of water um, on the cover. If you can get the land in the magazine um, today or tomorrow, depending on where you are. Um, uh, Peter Everett, a great mate of mine, uh, and I do a profile piece called The Two of Us, um, which is in the magazine part of, of a lot of uh, Fairfax newspapers, I think The Age and the Sydney Morning Herald, and of course The Land um, does. So if you get that, you can read a bit about what's been happening and stuff, and, and of course um, what's happening with Pete Everett's life. He's a, a great mate of mine and um, you know been a real help for me. Uh, working in the media and how to deal with you know all the, the different parts or the different facets of the media life that you, you have to deal with so yeah really good interesting read I think um, and you know at least you can sink your head in the paper when you don't want to talk to that Aunt, Aunt Ethel that's come over <laughs> or something so yeah so what am I doing um, I try to do try try I've tried to do a lot of writing um, but I just can't because I don't sleep and because I'm on the medication um, I can't concentrate you know I write a sentence and then I look over it three times and I think it's right and then I'll look back at it later and it's still got errors all through it or doesn't make sense and so I've tried to do a lot of blogs and so I've read some of my, my blogs for the last month they might not make sense um, my mind's not really working properly and you know if it's not the pain it's the medication thing making me go a bit crazy in the head and if it's not the medication it's the lack of sleep but um yeah redoing website so you'll see a lot of changes as well so redesigning it getting getting just a, a fresher look and more more um more more representation representation of me and i'm um, so really telling telling who i am through that that website so yeah that's about it. I really enjoyed this chat. I did have, did have, do have a lot of mates that come over. Um, but you know, the days that you feel really down, you, you, you tell people not to come over and it's probably the stupidest thing that you do, but you know, why, 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 your pride and all that takes over and you don't want people to see you in a, in a, in a bad state. So you say, oh no, no, no. someone else is coming today, you know, but um, I'm really glad a mate from England. Uh, I was visiting and he dropped in an old school mate. So that was really fantastic. And um, he's having a few issues. I won't say any names, but he's had a few issues. It was good, like, to be able to talk about someone else's issues, you know, like, because everyone that talks to me just wants to know about what's happened and you just think, oh, I don't want to focus on it anymore. I don't want to focus on the fact that I'm not um, not able to, able to do anything myself. <laughs> Can't leave this place and stuff. So tell me about what's happening in your life. Who are you shagging? You know? Giving you a, you a hard time. <laughs> anyway. Alright. Well, I better get back to Oprah. Because um, today she's got some really hot topics.